play some frog doll. Whoa, hey. whoa! You wanna, you wanna play some games? Games are an odd subgenre of sports games. On one hand, it's obvious why they exist. Sports games are easy to develop because people already know the rules, so the developers don't have to spend a whole lot of time to teach us. But on the other hand, golf games are odd because it's hard to emulate the feeling of actually playing the game. Before Wii Golf came along, the genre consisted almost solely of power and angle sliders. Now don't get me wrong, I love a good golf game. They're some of the most calming out there, whether it's a simplistic standard game or one that takes a few liberties with the formula. Now on the opposite side of the coin, we have those oddball, hyper-colorful games from our friends across the Pacific. Games like Katamari Damacy or Space Channel 5. Now the real question is, what would it happen if we combine these two types of games? Ah! Ah! Go! 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 Ah! No! 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 So, Rivet King, what is it? What's it all about? Well, here's my detailed analysis of the game. I mean, it's just a game about golf and frogs. I mean, you wouldn't ask what Tiger Woods PGA Tour is about. I mean, honestly, it's just a game about cheating on your wife. So here's the basic story. We have good old King Dude over here who calls upon Scooter to join a frolf competition. Why does he do it? I mean, I don't know. Just look at him. Doesn't that look like the guy that would make you hit frogs with golf clubs? Oh yeah, he also like wants you to save the planet or something. I don't know, it's not important. But what is important is this talking picnic basket that he gives you. Oh, what the f- <laughs> Oh no, he's fine, never mind. Okay. So you play a quick round of froth with the lobotomy patient, I mean Pickwick, as a quick tutorial. Then you get to meet the mayor of the tournament, who I, I don't know, just this guy, mm. I'm just gonna let Scooter here explain what the hell's going on here. By the way, who exactly are you anyway? Oh, uh, me? Why, I'm a referee. Anyway, your opponents are all waiting. Let's go kick off the Froth Tournament Tour. A referee? Are they always that creepy? I don't really trust him. He's shady. Yoo-hoo, all aboard the FUV. Hurry up, let's go. Should we go? Forget it, come on. He's a weirdo! At least I'm not a picnic basket. <laughs> now that we've learned the game, practiced a bit, and offended the mayor, I'd say it's time to take on our first opponent. Huh? Aha! So you're my opponent! What's this dude's problem? I was just trying to play a game of Frolf. Uh, we're playing Frolf, aren't we? Oh, that's right. Hey, wait up! Damn it, they got me again. This is as bad as that time I played Fallout and Three Dog kept tricking me. What rhymes with shoes and often gives you the blues? Shoes and blues. The news. That's right. It's time for the cashews! Dang it, I thought I had. Okay, that doesn't really rhyme. How about news? <sighs> Three dog. Okay, so let's meet the characters. We've already met Bruce Lee over here, but we also have Geodude, Nebula on the Wise, the Powerpuff Girls, the Penguin from Linux? A princess who's constantly being eaten by a fish. Oh, yeah, and we also have these guys who can't stop playing video games to participate in a round of froth, which is a video game. Oh, so meta. Seriously, what, what are they even playing? Look, a Playbox Advanced. What's that? A portable game console. Hey, Matt, you remember the days of the Playbox Advanced, right? Yeah, I mean, it was a bomb back in the early 2000s. I still have mine. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fire it up real quick. What 
I really like about these characters is their unique introductions. They're quite adorable, but I would expect nothing less from a game about frog golfing. However, when you beat them, things become a little less cute. Once you've defeated your opponent, they'll try to sell you their power-up item. Now this isn't inherently sad, but the way the characters are portrayed, it almost feels like they're losing a lot more than just a game. Oh, I can't believe I lost. <gasps> oh, yeah. By the way, don't you want to buy this? No thanks. I'm so tired, I don't care. You're the drink. You, you know what? You're trash. You're trash. You can't do it. Can't do it. Can't. Hey man, good game. You know, with all that prize money, you should totally buy this power up. Like, uh, you know, I make all my money off these tournaments, and I, I just, I don't want to sell this, but I need the money. I mean, come on, it's my. How am I supposed to feed my family? I'm okay. How am I supposed to look my son in the eyes? Buy it. Buy it. Now you may be asking yourself. What is the third law of thermodynamics? Well, that's simple. The definition states that the entropy of a perfect crystal at absolute zero is equal to exactly zero Kelvin. This holds true provided that the perfect crystal has only one minimum energy state. However, at certain temperatures, the quantum nature of the matter starts to dominate its behavior. Now to answer the second question on your mind, how does one play frog golf? Well, that's not nearly as simple. Upon first glance, the mechanics seem very simple. Like I mentioned before, the game mainly consists of sliders and timed button presses. Now I know that this sounds like your typical golf game with some weak video game tropes thrown in for good measure, but this game makes up for its simplistic controls with deep strategic gameplay. You see, Frolf isn't just your average game of golf where you try and get the ball in the hole in as few strokes as possible. No, 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 no. It's about getting the most points. So it's... It's not like golf at all, really. The deep strategy comes into play when you have to decide whether you're going to go for the extra points strewn around the course or try to go for the hole first. Just like normal golf, at the beginning of every course you have a chance at a hole in one. If done successfully, you gain 1,500 points right off the bat. However, like in real golf, a hole in one is not only difficult but highly unlikely. So if you can't get a hole in one every time, what are you supposed to do? Well, you have two options. You can either shoot straight for the hole in hopes that you're the first one in, or grab points placed around the course. Every stroke after the first is worth a thousand points. After the first player gets a frog in, the score for the second player goes down by a hundred with each stroke. A player can combat this by stringing chains of points together using objects around the course. Option two is difficult, but has a lot of opportunity for reward. Who would have thought a game about frogs and tiny catapults would be so strategically deep, yet so simple? It's like origami. Dakota, you and I both know that's just a crumpled up piece of paper. Hey man, this is an origami rock. I worked really hard on it. Now when I first picked up this game, I noticed that there was a second disc. Like most modern gamers, I assumed it was just some kind of DLC. But instead, what I got was... well... Ribbit! 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 King Plus! Yeah! One up, red up, white down, up, down, up, 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 down, hey, 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 hey! Someone, someone, please, come, please, come, please. come get me! Alright, that's the way! Loosen up, everybody! One, two, and one. So cute. <laughs> Ew, kissing is so gross. I'm really shocked that these games didn't do better in the US. I mean, with commercials like this, I'm surprised that every kid in their right mind didn't want to go out and buy the game. This is today's special item! It's the fabulous Ribbit King video game! It makes Ralph more hot and whack and fun than ever before! Pick up your phones and call! Dad, we need to get Ribbit King! No... But Dad, it's a golf game! Son, if you wanted to golf with frogs, you can take one of my clubs and go out back... This isn't nearly as fun as the game said it was gonna be. 
You may be surprised to know that Ribbit King is actually a sequel. The first game in the series was called Kiro Kiro King for the PS1. From what I gather, these two games are very similar, the only difference being graphics. The game doesn't take very long to beat. I believe I only spent seven or eight hours on the story. And unless you have friends to play it with, you might run out of things to do. However, that aside, I would still highly recommend this game. It's a bit expensive and hard to find, but it's definitely worth your time. Hey, thanks for watching. We really enjoy making these videos for you. If there's any game that you want us to review, please comment below. Thanks again for watching. Hey folks, welcome back to Dakota's Golf Tips. Today, we're gonna tell you a little secret that the industry likes to hide. Dakota's tip number one for today is always use the putter to drive. The industry would like you to think that drivers are the best, but putters are the all around use tool. So we're gonna take our golf ball here and we're gonna, we're gonna stick it in the ground like so. We're gonna take our putter. And it's just gonna, it's gonna, it, the, the reflex is all exactly like doing a, a legitimate drive, but with a putter. So you're gonna stand a shoulder width apart, uh, angle at your belly button, give a good little, couple little swings, and then wind up and miss. Dakota, you're trying your best, but your best kind of sucks. Like a lot. It's the hat. That's what. That's what's weird. Oh my god, Scott, what are you doing here? Good enough. We're done. <laughs> I'm done. I, I, I've had it. I'm going home, guys. We're done. <laughs>